This is a second opinion analysis of the Lasco 3733 and the Galaxy 4733, which is more or less the same thing. Marco motor shaded pole versus the PSC motor. This has the Marco motor. It's rated for 2.2 amps. This is a it's a 99 to 2000 model. And then this one has the PSC motor rated at 1.1 amps, so half the power, um, 2001 to 02, so one year later approximately. So they actually stamped a different current in the sheet metal. That's very interesting. I wouldn't think that they would spend the money to change the die. Well, they did. Because hmm. um, they didn't do that on the Warm Operator Junior. If you look at the uh, stamping on the old ones versus the, the last ones that were sold, same thing. Hmm. Well, I think Lakewood was cutting more corners than Lasco was, just trying to survive. Meanwhile, who had the out-of-balance blades? More often. More often. <laughs> not. I'm not saying Lakewood didn't, too. but No, almost intrinsically, every Lasco fan is totally out of balance. So, in my opinion, I feel like these two perform the same. Okay. And uh, I get a lot of flack for that comment, so now we have the opinion of another collector. So, we'll start with the, uh, with the Marco motor. So, I can tick off... Twice as many people this yeah. way now. <laughs> That's a nice startup sound. It does. Very powerful. Yeah, it moves a very respectable amount of air. <laughs> uh, can you give me a little speed up there? Look at these things, man. These things have seen better days for sure. This was the one that was in the window, right? This was the one in the attic. Oh, okay. I mean, this is... Man, if you can buy something this good now... <laughs> That's 2.03 amps. 178 watts. A lot of power. And power back to 0.75, so that is a lot of power. But for... I'll tell you what, for a shaded pole, 0.75 is actually pretty respectable. It's on the better. Yeah. Very powerful. It moves a lot of air. Way more than I would have expected. This thing's kind of interfering with it. Like yeah, sometimes I feel air sometimes. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's a very powerful thing. The funny thing is, is it was cheap junk at the time. It was. I do hear an annoying whirring sound from the blades, though. Yep. Like when you take like a string and you swing it through the air, really. It sounds fast. like a string trimmer. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Good range and speeds. I agree. The sound of this one's very annoying, but that's not relevant to this particular comparison. This is just an observation I made. Right. I agree that's that it doesn't matter, though. An issue with the blade, not the motor. This blade, to some extent, does that, but not as much. Interesting. It kind of looks identical. I guess maybe this blade's a tiny bit larger. I think what it is is little imperfections in the very tips of the blades, right. probably. That makes sense. Now, this blade... Yeah, I guess this blade is a little bit narrower. It's a little bit different. There's like a flat part for the first inch or two. Um, there do exist versions of this fan that have the same... You know, blade with this motor, but I think the blade is similar enough that it, we're going to get the concept across. Because this is about the motor, not the blade anyway. Right. So one year later, we switched to a PSC motor, which literally draws half the power. I actually think this moves a little bit more. 1.2 inch. Well, this is freshly serviced, but this is not very. Good. That thing has been very well kept. 1.2 amps, so about half the power, 128 watts, which is still a lot, and 0.9 power back. That's pretty low for a PSC. It goes up on medium and low for some reason. <laughs> now this is so strong that even if it's just the one foot, it still blows over. Look at it, it's like really going back. I think this is more powerful. Wow, it can't even stand up. <laughs> this is seriously really powerful. <laughs> you actually have to prop it up. I 
actually think that this was more air than a P223. Oh, I I think that this era of uh, Fino, a good motor with this blade, is the most powerful plastic box thing we've ever had. At least in terms of velocity. This one actually has a less unpleasant sound. Again, it doesn't matter, but I, I like the sound of this one better. The fan is actually moving pretty uh, good foot to it. Yeah, it's coming out there, but it's definitely coming to the fan. I'm very impressed with this fan. I really like this a lot. Mm -hmm. So now we'll put them on, Paul. Well, can we put them on together? They're going to tip over. <laughs> Yeah, it's not straight. It's not the one that you hold it up. Yeah. A little bit faster low, not as calm, but it's very, very high performance. I do like the low better on the last one. <laughs> you probably don't hear anything on the video right now except... <laughs> The fact that its own feet don't even hold it up is really saying something. Well, those are the ones. The Hollywood still fit over the ring. Dimensionally, they're almost the same. Yeah, it's almost slightly heavier than the motor. Well, that makes it more top heavy and more prone to fall over, though. Perhaps. The Marco has a better start of sound. Yeah. That one, I think, is running fast. Not a scientific test, but it's extremely scientific. That's more. It, it actually is twisting because it's moving so much air. I think I can't even straighten it out. <laughs> it's moving the box. <laughs> Galaxies are a little more powerful. Yeah. So it's interesting to see how these have, have gotten better and they got worse over, over the years. In the, in the late 90s, you had the D-blades. I think these are more powerful than the D-blades. But then in the, the mid-2000s, they started putting the front motors and the power dropped off the end. You can actually hear the last of work slow. It is, yeah. I think one of the next tools you should try to get Photo tag. It's almost it almost looks like a stud finder. Oh to count. Yeah, to count the uh, RPM. Yeah, no big thing. So maybe we could divide it by the number of plays and find out what the speed is. Well, all you have to do is you have to put like a reflective dot on the top. Like I think this little i I'm guessing you could probably buy a kit that has um, Actually, you know what? What you said might work too. It might pick up the, the edge of the blade. I assume when people use them on a ceiling, it just depends on how it does it, but it measures every blade time. I don't know if it's working something this small or this fast. It's working with you know, plastic blade. You might just have to put something contrasting on it, like a piece of black tape or something. Yeah. I think the galaxy is stronger. And it's, it's a noticeable difference, too. It's not like they, they're close, but I think the galaxy is noticeably more powerful. Like I said, I wish you could still get paid with this good these days. Yeah. If it's for an economy product, I would say, oh yeah. Like, can you imagine back in the 90s or 2000, oh, you have this? My 50s, you know, box fan with metal blades is a million times better. And, and now it's like, Oh, you bought something from Lowe's? My, my 2001 mm -hmm. Galaxy is a million times better. <laughs> well, people were saying that even in the 70s with the 223s. Two, two Those were the garbage of the day. Those things just don't die. They last forever. I don't think I've ever seen one of them die. I haven't ever seen one lock up either, <laughs> which is impressive after some of those are getting to be 50 years old. Yeah, those, um, those have the, uh, oh, what's it called? Um, McMillan. Those yeah. McMillan motors were champs. Those, I mean, they had oil ports on them, and nobody ever oiled them oh, either. No. <laughs> no one blew the dust out over the years. So which one do you think is better? I think the Galaxy's a little bit better, but I think the Lasco has the better startup sound. Yeah, the Lasco has a better startup sound. The Galaxy has the better running sound. 
Uh, but for half the power consumption, even if they were the same, that would put the galaxy ahead. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would... If I wanted a slow low, I'd pick the Lasco. If I was, like, working outside, you know, doing something on the, the deck or something, galaxy all the way. Yeah. And for those that are going to say the capacitor is not reliable, that's a 2001 model, so here we are 24 years later, and the original capacitor is perfectly fine. Uh, so let me poke some holes in that line of thinking. Film capacitors are extremely reliable. They don't mm. fail pretty much ever. I mean, they, they can, but compared to electrolytics, film capacitors will last many decades. Mm. So and that, th that technology has actually gotten better, unlike most components. <laughs> So I get a lot of comments saying that the shaded pole is so much more reliable, and it is true that you add one additional component that can fail, but it's a very reliable component, and it's one that's cheap and easy to replace. Yeah, film capacitors are very inexpensive, and they're, t take it from somebody who works on power supplies and high reliability applications, film capacitors are not your problem. The bearings will wear out probably before most caps will. Mm. And we're seeing, like, even in the, like, the Galaxy oscillating fans from the 70s, most of the capacitors and those are still good and they're approaching or they're exceeding 50 years old now. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that the argument of the capacitor being a, a failure point is really valid. Yeah, and the amount of current that's um, circulating through the capacitor is so minuscule anyway. It's not like a, an AC compressor where it has this huge amount of inrush current that just you know punches holes in the metal film. Mm -hmm. the, these, these capacitors have a very easy life. Mm -hmm. As long as you keep the uh, motor clean and you're not, you know, blocking the vents and then the thing gets hot. That's probably what kills all those capacitors. Not just hours of use, but just the heat from that not cleaning sense. the motor. Yep. Which is a maintenance issue, not a product issue. Exactly. Well, there we have it. Another person that thinks that the shade of uh, the Marco... Uh, Marco Polo? Totally wrong. <laughs> yeah. Another person that thinks the PSE motor is just as good.